okay, so while I was testing out the wish rod against uh, sturgeon, I was had my bait out in the water, and I figured I would cast out and do a little bit of bass fishing while I was uh, waiting for a sturgeon to bite. Ended up not getting another sturgeon that day, uh, so we. But I ended up catching a, a few decent, really nice, decent bass. Um, we don't have a lot of largemouth in this area, so those those largemouth that I did catch were fairly decent for my area. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, stick around to the end of the video, and I will let you know, you know, what I was using, how I was using it, and, uh, yeah, so, here's that video. Didn't have my camera rolling on that one. That's a Guggen bait fish. I'm not gonna lie, they got a decent crawl. Look at the mouth on her. Another one. That's a good fish too. No, I'm gonna put him back. Uh, I touch that. I touch you wanna touch him? Whoa, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. We're gonna put him back and let him get bigger. <sighs> so they get bigger.
Thank you. Okay, so like you seen in the video, I caught a couple decent bass. Uh, for around here, largemouth are far and few between. Uh, that river has a fair amount of decent largemouth in it now. I've never caught anything. I've never caught a largemouth out of there. Well, I, I take that back. I caught one out of there once. Uh, I haven't found anything else after that. Today I managed to pull out three. So we, uh, I was running, this isn't the same hook. I lost the two of the ver a similar version of this hook. Uh, this one's got a football head on it. The other one had more of a swim bait style head on it. Had a, uh, this one has a three aught hook. The other one had about a five aught hook. Uh, not all about the hype. I picked up these uh, Guggenbait Kraken Craws. I was going to pick up some uh, Strike King Rage Tail or Rage Craws, and uh, Walmart didn't have any, so I ended up having to go to Dick's. And when I went to Dick's, uh, they had the Guggenbaits. So I picked up a couple. Uh, this is really the first time that I've actually used it. So uh, to show you kind of how I rigged it. Uh, basically took the swing head, um, rigged it just like any other, you know, bait on an EWG hook. And how I work this bait, and obviously I broke the broke the claws apart. Um, how I work this bait was I would uh, cast out, let it sink down to the bottom, and then just kind of slow roll or crawl out along the bottom, and you could feel those fish pick it up. I give them a little bit of time because I've been noticing that I've been missing bites. I think it's just because they're not they're they're biting lower, biting the claws. They're not getting to where the hook is. So I give them a little bit of time to eat the bait, get it in their mouth really good, and then then go ahead and crack them and set that hook home. I didn't lose any. Uh, I take that back. I did lose one fish, and I don't necessarily think it was because I had a bad hookup. So. Um, but anyways, that was how I rigged those. Uh, if you like the content, please like, subscribe. Uh, I have a bunch more videos coming out shortly. I have tons of videos planned. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any comments, uh, any ideas, anything you want to see, anything uh, 